What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing more Twisted Metal Black. So, last episode we uh, beat Crazy Eight's story. Went pretty well. We did his tournament playthrough. He got revenge on the surgeon who destroyed his face. Ah. My least favorite character from Twisted Metal Black. I was hoping it was Dark Side, but I got him mixed up. Oh well. Let's do it. First time I knew I was different, I was just a little girl. There was this boy I really liked. One day I finally got up the courage to tell him. He pushed me down in the mud. He called me ugly. I've been alone ever since, always waiting and hoping for that certain someone to come my way. I remember right after college, all my friends with their perfect boyfriends in their society weddings. Every time one of those bitches got hitched, I'd freak. Eventually, they had to put me on meds just to calm me down. But then one day, in the asylum, I had a visitor. The gentleman's name was Calypso. He said if I won his game, I'd never have to be alone again. He said he knew where I could find my true love. How could I refuse an offer like that? After all, no one as pretty as me deserves to be alone. Zorka Bros, Scrap and Salvage. Finally, a man who loves me, and all I have to do is win this contest. For true love, I can do anything. I actually fucking hate Spectre. Like, I hate going against her because she's annoying as shit. But I also just do not care playing as her, either. I, I just have no reason to really care about her. Yeah, the missile, like, locking on and hitting them regardless of where they are, like a ghost missile, it's cool. I just do not like her car in this game. Well, I can't say I don't like it, because it, it's alright. I just don't think it's as cool as the other vehicles. Just not a big fan of her. Like, if I play as her, it's extremely rare, but I'm doing it for the videos, so. But, she's not awful when it comes to, like, statistics or this and that. I just don't care about her. Oh, okay. I gotta zoom me. No, the hell you don't. Yeah, <laughs> die. Man's thought he was gonna get away from me. I do not think so. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, 
Like, when it comes to Twisted Metal head-on, I actually think Spectre's vehicle is super cool, and... The story of it being, like, a spoiled dude who just wants to be rich, you know? I really do not mind that. I think it's... Much more satisfying than the whole Bloody Mary Man crazy kind of thing. I know it's subjective, it's just... Oh! For a second that scared me, because I thought that was like multiple satellites, but no, I forgot. I shot down the uh, plane. Let's get all these pickups. Pop off that bomber attack. Is it going to hit anyone? Probably not. Wow, okay. That's unfortunate. What just happened made me sad. <laughs> that was supposed to hit him, and then right as I fire it, it no longer locks onto him. Put an F in the chat. What are you... Yeah, I don't think so. There is no escape for me, not today. Oh, I was really hoping that hit him. And goodbye, Axel. Nice seeing you. Goodbye. Now, the cool thing about Spectre is, yeah, she's extremely fast. And, yeah, her missile, like, goes through walls and shit, you know. It's pretty useful, especially when you're in a pickle and, like, you want to hide in a building or something in, like, another path, like the suburbs. Like, she has some really useful stuff. I just don't care. Why are you locking on to Outlaw? Ah, oh, jeez. Might as well make work of this real quick. There we go. Of course, like, Junkyard is, like, the easiest to get through. Um, Freeway, because I think last time we did Suburbs? I think? I don't remember. I don't care. My daddy used to say I was the prettiest girl in the world. Even after he killed my mom, he still said I was beautiful. I don't know, man. If I was a little girl and my dad said I was beautiful immediately after killing my mother, like, and I know about this shit, I don't know, man. I don't think I'd be okay with that. I'd flip my lid and I'd go mentally insane.
How did I not hit any of those? Get this satellite. Actually, I think a satellite would be really useful when it comes to Axel. Unfortunately, it didn't hit him, which kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do? But I had more fire missiles, apparently not. <laughs> very good, very good. Combination of the reticle and the, um... I'm just gonna call it a ghost missile, because that's all I can really think of what to call that. Unfortunately, I might need to use a recharge station. Because the health is not respawning. We're just gonna pop that off real quick. That's Sweet Tooth. After the last episode, I don't think I want beef with Sweet Tooth right now. Problems? I know all three of them do that's for fucking sure. They're all three on me. All I can do is say, ah, oh, that's a yikes for me, my guy. I gotta hit dark side.
That was not Dark Side I targeted. I do not know who I targeted. Who did I hit? I gotta get more pickups because I am running low. Fucking cars? Four enemies remain. Okay. Don't want to be tracked at the moment. Oh, the health up here responds. So it's just Sweet Tooth and uh, Mr. Grimm. Going to get me more turbo and weapons that are actually going to be useful. Ooh, machine gun bullets for the upgrade. Nope. Fuck! Okay. Homing pickup, that's nice. He tried to be annoying. Oh my lord. That was a hell of a moment. Uh, I think I'll do Highway Loop. Fuck it. Even though on Highway Loop I'll be at more of a disadvantage. Doesn't matter, truth be told. Daddy said ugly girls are tramps and losers. I promised my dad I would stay pretty forever. God, you're fucked up. You need to go through. You need to stay in that mental asylum. You started it, you crazy freaking person. Freaking nut job, much? Question mark? Question mark? Had to get one out early. I can be aggressive too.
So firing that backwards is a horrible idea. Holy sweet tooth is done. That's nice. For a second, I just thought he killed himself. I'm trying not to waste that, because I can only use it once. I know I'm literally just going around like a racetrack, but I'm trying to get as much pickups as I can. It's going to come in handy later. I also want to have enough time to where the health is actually going to respawn. I might actually die here, unfortunately. Yeah, it sucks, but what can I do? Oh, this game hates me. I need turbo. I just skipped the turbo. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'm glad Mr. Grimm is destroyed. He was a little annoying. I 
I gotta find some health, though. Two opponents remaining. I haven't died yet. That could change at any moment. And that is not a good thing. No! Game, why do you screw me over like this? Oh, ho, ho. hell yeah! All it took was a little bit of patience. Just a little bit. Enough for me to make it through. Makes me happy I survived that so far. So far I've gone through it without dying. Um, not that I really care. I don't really like Spectre. Or at least not in Twisted Metal Black or Lost, but... Meh. Uh, yeah, same thing. So many different people have the same line. I feel like they couldn't come up with anything creative for a lot of the characters when it comes towards minions. I'm not complaining. I just think uh, it would have been interesting to see um, different kind of... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. I would say dialogue, I guess. Left panel destroyed, that's quite nice. Right panel destroyed, that's also nice. Yeah, the thing about minion is you just have to be patient. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'm dead! I'm dead! Oh, okay. I'm not dead yet! I'm going to die, but... Minion's gonna be the cause of me dying with Spectre. If I can avoid dying, my mind will be blown. Yeah, I expected that. Ah, eh, he died anyway. I was asleep for hours, dreaming about weddings. In fact, one very special wedding. I was one of the bridesmaids as usual. My friend Kristen, she was the one getting married. Can you believe what she did? She actually had the nerve to throw the bouquet to me, that little bitch. Looking back, I'm not sure it was such a good idea to come off my medication. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. You're just an ugly fat cow. <laughs> I think that day, my heart just snapped in two. And I think my mind did the same. 
So I grabbed the closest thing I could find, and then I wasn't really sure what I did. If I wasn't going to have a man, then no one was. I dragged Kristen's fat, ugly body into one of the dressing rooms and bolted the door. Standing there in Kristen's dress, I realized I was the most beautiful bride I had ever seen. When I win this contest, Calypso will find me a man who thinks so too. I'm not really in this to try to do a perfect run. Like, in the future, yeah, I might try to come back to this and do, like, perfect runs and story mode and this and that, but it's not my main concern with beating it. <sighs> Root beer. Saved unlocked items? Oh, yeah, that's right, because uh, on the emulator, I've actually never beaten it with Spectre. Like I said, I don't really play her. Kristen's parents are sad she's dead, but I know when I find my true love, they'll be so happy for me. You're fucked up. Honestly, I think the, the middle cutscene just really showcased how fucking psychopathic she is. I, I do not like you. Bloody Mary, I do not like you. The combination of Outlaw and Mr. Grimm. That's a weird combo. Getting a little bit of emulator lag, not much of an issue. It just happens when you have a GTX 1050. Mr. Grim destroyed. That's one down. I want to take it easy. Because here's the thing. Like, yeah, I could be reckless. I could get myself killed. I could do this. I could do that. But I'm not trying to purposefully die. <laughs> I got to survive to get through it, obviously. I also just kind of have fun, like, roaming around... Exploring. I know I've explored um, when it comes to this game millions and millions of times. It's just. I just really like this game. I, I always have. Oh, no, you don't. That's my- that's like one of the big positives when it comes to Spectre, is that she's so fast. You can sneak up on him, and it's extremely effective. Like, because you can get away, you can do that. Her speed is something actually quite enjoyable when it comes down to her. But in my opinion, that's it. I don't really care much. Yeah, her missile's good. Actually, I can't say that's it, because I literally just complimented her, her like, missile. Okay, I guess it is, uh, I don't care much for her car's design, and I also do not care about her as a character. Eww. Health pickups, where you be? Better than nothing. I took out two so far, Mr. Grimm and Outlaw, the two that I started in that room with. I'm glad they're out. I also know Junkyard Dog is also um, a little bit under halfway healed. I'll save that for later.
Someone pick up the health pickup! And it wasn't me! But no, I'm having- I- I know this series is being a little repetitive on the channel, because it's kind of just me doing the same shit with, like, different characters for, like, the story and everything, but I'm having fun, uh, making content on this game. Because, like I said, I grew up with this game. This is a game I've literally played throughout the majority of my life. I've, uh... We didn't need her anyway. She was annoying. But I've been playing this game my whole life, pretty much, and I always enjoy it. Eventually, when I get a better computer, I do want to play uh, Twisted Metal Black online. If you can. I'm not 100% sure if you can anymore, but if you can, I would love to play it. Because I'm sure the community for this game, due to the fact the game's a little older, and from a lot the fact that people are keeping servers alive in this and that, um, I would love to be involved with the community of this game as well. Or just the Twisted Metal series as a whole. I guess another thing I can compliment when it comes to Spectre is uh, her handling is really good, too. She's very good to control, like, very easy. and the infinite thumping is now out of the contest. Or at least for this map. He might show up next map. I don't know. It's hard to tell who comes and goes. annoy the piss out of me. Now I just need to go to a recharge station, get a few weapons, take care of Dark Side, and problem solved. We can move on to the next most horrendous and awful map. I don't mean horrendous and awful in a way as in it's a terrible looking map or anything. I mean terren horrendous and awful because I have to constantly use a strategy to get past it without dying at all. And that strategy is quite cowardly, but a lot of people do it. And I guess everyone has a different opinion on it. Oh, I missed that. There we go. 
Uh, Snowy Roads. Like, I, 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 I don't know how many times I repeated it. Didn't I say at one point I was going to stop saying I wasn't going to do a driving movie? I don't remember. Yeah, that's also the uh, line that's repeated with a few characters. This battleground is small and full of enemies. I have to keep moving if I want to survive this. Blah, blah, blah. It's repeated a million fucking times. Who cares? Uh, not even a million. I just over-exaggerate over it. For the fun of it. No! Fucker. I don't know if what just happened is exactly what I thought it was, but I think Axel thumped me, which bounced me in the air, and someone froze me, and I had no control over my vehicle. I was pretty much forced to die. Hey, that's what you, that's what I get for playing with overly aggressive AI. I can't even get it. Might as well take out two of them. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to take out Axel for sure. Please let it be Axel. Please let it be Axel. I think I just took out three unintentionally. Might as well take advantage of this. God, that is loud. I gotta turn down my fucking volume. Okay. It's not as loud when I'm over here. But being over there, oh golly. The ultimate team up. Axel, Outlaw, and uh, the most annoying sack of shit roadkill all team up because they crave women and they can't get it. want a piece of my ass and they can't even have it. Oh, I can get up here now. What the fuck? Oh my god, I hate you, Roadkill. You're so obnoxious in, like, every way. Fuck you. You annoying sack of shit. Oh, look at this. All by yourself, I see. I wish I had a fucking, like, more weapons, but no, I can't have that. Oh, come on! Okay. No!
No. Screw you, Roadkill, and screw you, Axel. I'm starting to realize, like, I feel like some of the AI are much worse than other AI. <laughs> From here, I can hear the sound of wedding bells. They're a lot like police sirens. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, no, I don't think so. No. You're just fucking crazy. But, um... It makes me, like, think, like, man... Axel's freaking AI, unbelievably aggressive. Um, Outlaw's pretty aggressive. Like, Warthog's... It's pretty tame. Junkyard Dog. Not even that bad. Junkyard Dog, not that bad. Preacher, a little annoying. Um, Outlaw, annoying as fuck. Mr. Grimm, only annoying because he's so speedy. Darkseid just killed herself, and I wasn't even near her to watch it. Take it. So far, I haven't killed myself. Sorry, I still have a little bit of leftover PTSD from the episode where I played as Roadkill. Please forgive me for panicking like I'm scared I'm going to die. <laughs> No, I was really hoping I was going to be able to play as Dark Side, but that eh, is what it is. I'd rather get this over with as well. can die! No! You will die! You annoying piece of shit! Die! Off with thee! Do not return! Goodness gracious! I didn't die! Yeah! And that's my favorite map. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of better luck here. Because uh, last episode, I killed myself trying to do something I thought would be fucking cool. And the episode before that was just a nightmare. But, I'll take it. I forgot to save. You're in violation of this town. Oh well. Too late now.
One more opponent and I'll be in the arms of my soulmate. This pig can't stand in the way of true love. Nobody can sure fucking shoot you down. You deserve it, you crazy psycho! And no. Oh, I got froze. I'm getting froze all over the place. Oh, no. Give me that. I'm going to die! No! Oh my god, no! No! Why are you freezing me? I'm glad your shield is destroyed, but I'm still gonna die! Oh well. I was gonna die regardless. Health wasn't responding quick enough and... Oh, get back here. Yeah, you can die. Thank God. Whee! <laughs> okay. I'm sure there were quite a few sour faces in town when all the girls learned I'd won the contest. I demanded my prize from Calypso. I wanted to meet my true love. Calypso delivered. It was my darling, my sweetheart, and he was gorgeous. Calypso told me he had to make a few modifications, but what man doesn't need a little adjusting here and there? As he held me in his big, strong arms, he leaned in to whisper something in my ear. To this day, I still can't believe what he said. I will never love you. My God, I was so close. But this wasn't my true love at all. He wasn't anything like the man I thought he was. Certainly not good enough for a girl like me. My Prince Charming is out there. I know he is, and I'll find him. Even if I have to go through each and every man, one at a time. Yeah. I might as well save because I didn't save before I got there. Thank God, I do not want to play Spectre. Not a character I care about too much. She's, I just don't like her. Anyway, that was Spectre's tournament playthrough. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. It was a pretty fun episode overall. Died a few times here and there, but hey, shit happens. In a game where the AI is 100% against you, they won't kill each other. It's extremely uncommon, but they will definitely kill you. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.